Manta 79 here, and I'm back with another episode of Let's Play Pokemon Legends Arceus Part 46. Post game, the plane of Freyloop Beach. Okay then, let's get started. Press the A button now. And here we are, back where I last saved. For those of you who watched my previous video, I spent that time completing the mission number 24, the play of Snowpoint Temple, and got myself one of the legendary Pokemon, Regigigas. And now in today's video, I'm going to be going on to my next objective, which is to complete mission number 25, the play of Freyloop Beach. Press A to... Okay, then, play of Freyloop Beach. Gogeta has provided me hints that might help me find more plates. It seems... Freyloot Beach, which lies near Jubilee Village, has deep ties to Hisui's ancient myths. Head to Freyloot Beach, where Commander Kamado waits. Okay, sounds simple enough. My supplies and Pokemon seem okay, so... I guess we just gotta head over to Freyloot Beach. Teleport over to the practice field. Okay, here we are, practice field, and... Off to Freyloot Beach we go. Listen to the sound of those waves. That's what a beach sounds like. Here we are, playing the beach. And at the pier over there, there's... Commander Kamado, dressed in full armor again. The strangest in the sky to help bring the two plants that got the team closer together. Every cloud, as they say, has a silver lining. I know. Freyloot Beach, indeed a place of beginning. Now is not the time for words. Face me in battle. Yes. No. Yes. And battle start. Gal Galaxy Kings, Kamado challenge me to a battle with five Pokemon in my hand. He first sends out Golem. I send out Decidueye. Battle start! Okay, Decidueye, use Leaf Blade on Golem! One you KO! Golem has fallen! Good job, Decidueye! And Commander's next Pokémon is... A Braviary! Okay, Braviary uses Air Slash! Decidueye avoided the attack! Good job! Switching Pokémon! Return, Decidueye! And you're up! Electivire! Electivire! Use Thunder Punch! So close! Kamado used a full restore! Ah, oh, that's not good. Alright. Strong style! Thunder Punch! Go! And punch that shot and one it KO! Raviary is down! Next up, the commander is sending out Snorlax! Snorlax use high force power! Oh, that's a lot of damage there. Switching Pokemon again. Return Electivire! And coming out, Decidueye! Decidueye, use triple arrows on Snorlax! One, two, three, and half HP down. Defense lower. And Snorlax is using Zen Headbutt. Oh, that's a lot of damage. All right, one more time, triple arrows. One, one, two, three, and Snorlax is down. All right, the commander's next Pokemon is... Clefable, a fairy type. Clefable, you calm mind. Uh-oh, it raises offensive stats and defensive stats. It's not good. All right then, return to Sidoi, and come out, Dialga! Dialga, use Iron Tail! And swoop, sweep, ah, so close. It used Agile Style, Training Kiss. Only a little damage. Recovered a bit of its HP. 
and use Draining Kiss again. Oh no! And it's back to half HP. All right, Dialga, use Iron Tail. And whoop, big slash, and Clefable is down. Okay, the commander is down to his last Pokemon. It's a Hell Cross. And use Pin Missile. Oh, okay. Oh no, Splinter's dug into my Dialga. Switching out. Return the Alga. And go up. Toga Kiss. Toga Kiss. Use your air slash on Heracross. One hit KO. Heracross has fallen. Battle decided. The winner, me. Even rightful creatures like Pokemon can become powerful allies. True that. Got some XP and Decidui, Samurai, Typhlosion, and Electivire leveled up. You've grown even stronger since we faced one another on Mount Coronet. It's clear you don't view Pokemon as dangerous enemies, but rather as trustworthy allies. Allies with whom you can reach great heights. Perhaps you are even a divine being yourself, sense was to bring us gifts from above. Here, you should have this. I got the Fist Plate! A stone tablet imbued with the essence of the Fighting Spirit. When used on a certain Pokémon, it allows that Pokémon to gain the power of the Fighting type. When the very first of our Galaxy Expedition team, myself, Benny, and the others set foot on Fraylet Beach, we found that plate. Oh, really now? It clearly held some kind of power, and so I've kept it safe all this time. I find it Fitting that it should now end up with you, who likewise arrived here on the same beach. Perhaps something is guiding us. Indeed, it must be so. You and I, Adamon, Arita, and it appear we're all being guided by the one called Almighty Sinnoh. Hmm, it might be more appropriate to call this region the Sinnoh region. I know I have no right to say this. But we are truly fortunate to have been able to count on you among the Survey Corps ranks. If you had not joined us, we would have fallen Mount Coronet. We would have lost our home. We would have lost our future. Now then, carry on with your survey work. Sir, yes sir. The knowledge that you collected about the wild folk of this region will serve to illuminate our path forward as we walk into the future. Mission! The play the Prelude Beach complete! I've gathered all the plates related to each of the stories Kagia told me about. I should head back to Kogina's retreat. Mission! Seek the remaining plates! Alright, let's head on back to Kogina's retreat. Teleport back to the front gate. And we're heading off to go ancient retreat here. Teleport. And here we are, the ancient retreat. Let's report back to Miss Kogita. Here we are again. Have you collected all the plates? Yes, ma'am. Of course. Terry is a famed member of the Survey Corps, after all. No, follow. When did you get here? I didn't see you coming. So what more can you tell us? We're so close now. You must know more about the plates. If there's yet more you want to know, kindly bring me wood. Three logs will do. Wood? Really? Wood. So they're saying wood is somehow tied to the plates? Well, let's suppose that's what we get to learn next. Hop to it, Terry. While it shames me to admit it, merchant that I am, I'm quite out of wood in my stores just now. Oh, jeez. Alright, let's just go to the storage box. Get myself some... Wood. Three logs. And hand them over. 
If there's yet more you want to know, kindly bring me wood. Three logs will do. Have you gathered all the three logs I requested, lost one? Here you go. Not yet. Here you go. I handed over the three logs of wood. Ho ho! This certainly ought to do! Now the moment comes at last! The big reveal! What, pray tell, is the secret behind this wood? Secret? Your expectations need tempering, I fear. This world is merely fa fashioning myself new cutting boards. Cutting boards? You mean... For cooking? The plates we're after aren't dinner plates. This is hardly the time for cooking. How do you complain for one shirking his own work this very moment? Poor Ginter of the Ginkgo Guild must have his, had his hands full of you. But honest work earns honest pay. Here you are, Terry, a reward for the wood you brought me. It's another plate! I received the Pixie Plate. Pixie Plate, a stone plate tablet imbued with the essence of the fairies. When used on a certain Pokemon, it allows that Pokemon to gain the power of the fairy type. That's one of the plates we were looking for! Ahem, apologies. That's indeed one of the plates we've been searching for. What do you mean, a plate? Let me see that again. Hmm, this does look rather like the one of the plates you've been tracking down. While the engravings on it made it less than accommodating as a cutting board. Whatever ingredients crossed it certainly gained a more pleasant flavor. Perhaps that was the board's power. The plate's power, rather. She's really been using it as a cutting board? And food can actually taste different with the, if you put it on top of the plates? Well, no more need saying. What do you two intend to do now? Well, we've managed to collect quite a lot of the plates by now. I still don't know what we're to do with them. Exactly, it's a hunch. Perhaps we could have a look around the Celestica Ruins. Those ruins contain statues of both Dialga and Palkia. They might hold more secrets. I see. A fine pretense to continue shirking your versatile duties to draw upon in old ruins as you enjoy. On with you, then. I don't need you to tell me. I'm going. The Celestica Ruins, Terry. I'll see you there. Alright. Go on. Now to the Celestica Ruins. I'm curious myself what you'll find there. What can we do? What can we who live now learn from the remains of our ancient myths and legends? More and more human voices echo throughout peacefully the growth of your galaxy team. Okay. Returning to Jubilife Village. And with that, that's all the time we have for today. First off, I want to say thank you to the viewers for watching today's video, and to please stay tuned for more videos I plan to upload again in the near future. I also hope you all share support by liking, commenting, sharing, subscribing to my videos and channel. And with that, I say goodbye, and see you all soon!